creating food is just one of the greatest gifts. I love it, and I love that we do things that are good. My name is Ann Diamond Bucci. I am a second generation farmer at Diamond Farm in Wendell, Mass. So my father purchased the land in 1936. He came from Connecticut and he had always wanted to be a farmer. He was working in a factory and he wanted to move to the country. The view outside is just absolutely gorgeous. This house has been here for over two centuries. My name is Tessa White Diamond. I'm a third generation farmer here at Diamond Farm in Wendell. I grew up on the farm. I helped out. Um, you know, Sunday that was my chore day to help on eggs and just help around the farm. And I never really envisioned myself being a full-time farm farmer. I've been back for about three years. Um, before this, I was in the corporate world and found that that really wasn't where my heart was happy. Uh, so I've been back here and learned the ropes and there's still so much more for me to learn. I've been trying to get as much information and learn as much as I can from the three owners, my mother, uh, my Uncle Peter, and my Aunt Faith. So in 1989, we started with 500 turkeys. And here, a little more than 30 years later, we do, we raise over 5,000 turkeys a year. We raise a bunch of different things, uh, chickens for meat, chickens for eggs, turkeys. Uh, we also have uh, beef cattle, but we also have a small commercial kitchen. To be able to work in a kitchen, that's like one of my favorite things. I just, I love it. And I love creating stuff. I love it when people come in and say, oh, you know, do you have those little turkey dinners? Because I'm buying them for my my parents or you know this person is sick going through some illness and I want to bring them food um, and it's it's comfort that's that's one thing I love people come to our farm store they're just blown away at how many different things we have desserts we have different uh, dinners or side dishes so it's it's always a treat when people come here for the first time we get to give them a little tour of the store we wholesale a lot of turkey pot pies and turkey soups I remember a customer calling and saying that his family would, uh, he had small kids and they used to do pizza night on Friday night and he said his children wanted to do diamond pot pie night <laughs> instead of pizza night. That was like, holy cow, that was like one of the greatest compliments that we've ever gotten. Winston! Doesn't strike me as a guard though. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> He likes to think he is. He does have his own hashtag. He's it's hashtag Winston the farm dog. And so people, they do come and they say, oh, where's Winston? We have some kids that will come and like ask for him. Um, of course, during November, it's crazy. But when COVID hit and people were afraid to go to grocery stores, it was, we said it was like Thanksgiving without the turkeys because um, people were just, so happy to come into a place that was small and that they could see the owners, um, the, the people who make the food. COVID, I think, has brought a lot of attention to folks to where their food has come from and to pay more attention, to know the backstory. I much prefer when I'm pr buying stuff to know that I'm buying food, whether it's from Clarkdale, whether it's from Cook's Farm, Up and Gill, um, Atlas Farm, just those people, I know the people, um, and I know that I'm supporting them and their families, that the money is staying here. It's helping support neighbors and my community. When I have been to Leverett Co-op, what I love is, again, the small town feel. You're not going into some big corporate store you know your neighbors, you know who's there, you see local products. I love that. I love to see things from the community and know that they are supporting our community and then in turn, we are supporting them. And, and for me, that's what's huge is to know that the money's staying here, that we're supporting people who are paying taxes in our communities. But having returned to the farm, I'm so glad that I did because I have a a say in what the future holds for my family business. I mean, we've been here since 1936, and to think 
will be here for so many more years is really exciting for me. Our name is on it. Uh, we're proud of the fact that we make this food, that uh, we feed it to our children, we feed it to our friends, to our parents. We eat it ourselves. So, and it means something to us.